Hey there, Teddy Rubskin here. Yeah. Hey there, Teddy Rubskin here. And yeah, they were talking about Transformers Dark of the Moon, which is the third fucking Transformers movie. And, you know, when this movie came out, I, I, was, I, was, I was hoping that the film was going to be good, you know? The previous Transformers movie, I mean, it made a lot of money, but it was really poorly received by fucking critics and audiences. Yeah, the critics basically tore it a new asshole, because it fucking sucked, right? I was hoping they were going to improve some things in this fucking film. It seems like they were. I mean, the, the plot in the trailers looked pretty cool. It was about, like, uh, the fact that the moon mission was actually a top-secret mission to get their hands on fucking alien technology. That's kind of cool. Plus, uh, Shockwave was in the movie. His crazy Transformer who's got, like, a giant fucking Transformer snake. Or, like, this worm that can, like, burrow through fucking anything and tear shit apart. That's kind of cool. And, uh, and this guy, they have a new fucking Transformer named Sentinel Prime, who's actually voiced by Leonard Nimoy. Yeah, Spock himself was voicing one of the Transformers, which is pretty cool, because Leonard Nimoy was actually the voice of Galvatron in the animated Transformers movie, right? That sounds pretty cool. It would mean the end of your world. Yeah, so, uh, is this movie better than the previous two fucking films? Um, not really, you know, it's more of the same, but this movie does make an attempt to be a bit darker in tone, you know, gone is the fucking silliness from the previous movie, you know, we don't have any fucking humping dogs or farting robots, you know, this movie tries to take things a little more seriously, you know, there's like a government cover up with the fucking moon landing and what that was about. And, uh, but, but the movie still focuses on the fucking human characters, you know? God damn it. Like, I don't give a shit about the human characters. I don't give a shit about Sheila Borf, you know? And he's back, yeah, even though he has less reason to be here than he had in any of the previous fucking films, you know? In the first film, he had a reason to be there, you know? In the second movie, they concocted a silly reason for him to be there, you know? But this time, he's got no fucking reason to be there, you know? I mean, and he's got another girlfriend, you know? Megan Fox is gone. Right now we got this fucking chick. Who's a fucking hottie. Hell yeah, she's a blonde fucking Victoria's Secrets model, actually. How the fuck does fucking Sam Witwicky keep meeting such hot bitches? How does this even work? What the hell's that? <sighs> but, but, I mean, I, she, she's sexy, sure, but is she sexier than Megan Fox? Hell no. You know, Megan Fox always had this look of being, you know, kind of bored. You know, like she had better things to be doing than being in a Transformers movie. But, uh, well, hey, maybe she did, you know. But this chick, she just looks fucking confused all the time. She looks kind of stupid, you know. She's always got a stupid look on her face. I don't, I don't get it. I don't really like it but much, but, uh... Yeah, I mean, we, 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 we got some more fucking actors, more characters in this movie. With, with better actors, we got fucking John Malkovich, Patrick Dempsey, Francis McDormand. But uh, for some reason, all these high-quality actors are turning in shitty fucking performances, you know? I mean, well, what's up with that? It's so fucking stupid. But the, the movie shouldn't really be focusing on the fucking human characters at all. The movie should be focusing on the fucking Transformers, you know? The fucking title characters. The movie's called fucking Transformers. Let's focus on the fucking Transformers. What the hell? Come on, guys. <sighs> and I mean, there's, there's some kind of twist in the plot where it turns out that Sentinel Prime is actually a bad guy, right? He, like, double-crosses everybody, which is no real surprise. I fucking saw that coming from a mile away. Come on, really? What the hell? And, and he's got a beard. Yeah, fucking Sentinel Prime has a beard. You know, what, what is that? You know, there was a Transformer with a beard in the previous movie. How, how do Transformers have beards? Oh, and some of the Transformers have hair, right? Like, literally hair. Like, weird, glowing blue hair. Well, what, what, is, what is that about? Hair? What? And one of the Transformers 
This goofy looking guy, he's actually bald on top. He's got hair on the sides, but he's got no hair on top of his head. So, so what, you can go bald? That's fucking stupid. I mean, look at this guy. What, what is wrong with this fucking Transformer? This is the goofiest looking Transformer I've ever fucking seen. You know, so dumb looking. I, I, I mean, they actually made a toy of this guy. Yeah, look at that stupid looking toy. Who wants that fucking toy? You know, I mean, what's this guy's name? Wheeljack? <sighs> stupid. Yeah, well, well, at least he gets fucking killed. Yeah, he gets fucking killed. Like, yay! I mean, he doesn't even put up a fight. He's, like, begging for his life. Like, please don't kill me. Boom! Kill that bitch. He's fucking stupid looking. I mean, what? Is he, is he wearing glasses? Is that a Transformer wearing glasses? That's, that's stupid. What the fuck? And then it turns out that fucking Patrick Dempsey has teamed up with the Decepticons. He's a bad guy. What the fuck? Why, why would you do that? Why would you team up with the fucking giant robots that are trying to destroy the world and wipe out all of humanity? Why, why would you do that? It's so stupid, you know? I, I mean, yeah, yeah, because he's the bad guy. Yeah, mm. but, but, you know, it's just a paper-thin reason for, for Sheila Borf's fucking character to be there, you know? Because Patrick Dempsey is fucking his girlfriend's boss. Right, so that, that's why he's there. I guess it's just so stupid. It's so stupid. And then there's a part where, where the Decepticons say the Autobots have to leave. They have to leave the planet, right? What? Why? Why, why are they going along with that? They're like, okay, yeah, we, we, they say we gotta leave, so we gotta leave. So they're what? They're gonna hop on a fucking space shuttle and just leave the planet? Where, where are they gonna go? Where the fuck are they gonna go? And why are they going along with this fucking plan? This is stupid. You know, they try to have like a little heartfelt goodbye, like we gotta go. So sad, but why? Why are they leaving? This is dumb. Oh man. I mean, I mean, they they make some fucking attempts to make you fucking give a shit about these characters, but it doesn't work because it doesn't make any sense. It's so stupid. You know, shit. And you know the fucking Autobots are gonna come back. You know they're gonna fucking come back. Of course they are. What the hell? It, it, it's so dumb. <sighs> but, 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 you know, it, it, it's a positive, you know. The action sequences are actually a bit better directed, you know. Because the camera doesn't go right up the fucking Transformers' butts. You know, it, it backs up a little bit so we can tell what the fuck is going on, you know. And, uh, you know, it's not nearly so fucking chaotic. It, it is actually, the, the action sequences seem to make sense. Plus, plus that they're destroying Chicago, which I like, you know. Because I'm from Chicago, you know. I actually saw them fucking filming in town when they were doing it, you know. And, and that's kind of cool. I see some familiar landmarks there and uh, kind of like that, you know. They're blowing up some fucking familiar buildings to me, you know. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah, and, and uh, actually, these fucking soldier guys, this, this white soldier and this black soldier guy, who've actually been in all of the previous fucking Transformers movies, but they were kind of background characters... Weren't given a hell of a lot to do. Even though they had more reason to fucking be there than Shia LaBeouf. You know? They had fucking more reason to actually be there. Because they're supposed to be there, you know? So, in, in fucking Dark of the Moon, they're finally given a fucking chance to shine. As they, uh, you know, command an operation to take out some of the fucking Transformers, you know? In the previous movies, they were shooting at the fucking Transformers. They were shooting at them in the desert and stuff like that. But they weren't able to actually kill any of the fucking... Decepticons or anything like that. But this time, in a military operation, they're actually able to take out some of the Decepticons, you know? They, they actually, like, sniper them in the fucking eye, they put some bombs on their fucking legs, blow off their fucking legs. And that's, that's cool, there's some cool parts where the, you know, the soldiers are doing some fucking free base jumping off the fucking tall ass buildings in Chicago. That's pretty fucking cool. So, you know, there are some fucking cool parts, but but it's highlighted by a lot of stupid shit, you know? Yeah, and that, that big burrowing worm thing, like, tears through a fucking building that, uh, you know, fucking Shia and, and the other soldier guys are on for some fucking reason, starts tearing the place apart. And then fucking Optimus Prime comes flying in to save the fucking day, you know? Starts shooting up the shit, which is pretty cool. Until he gets his fucking ass caught in some fucking cables and shit. And then he's just like hanging there. Like, what the hell? 
Come on, man, you're a giant fucking robot guy. You just smashed through a fucking building. You can't fucking take care of those fucking cables? No, we need some other fucking robots to come help him. That's fucking dumb. And, th and then there's a scene where we're actually supposed to believe that they're gonna fucking shoot Bumblebee. They're gonna shoot Bumblebee. Oh my God, they're gonna kill him. Oh no, it's so sad. They're gonna shoot Bumblebee. But you know they're not gonna fucking shoot Bumblebee. Well, 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 why are they trying to manipulate my fucking emotions? Make me think that they're gonna kill Bumblebee. Of course they're not gonna fucking shoot Bumblebee. He jump, jumps around, fights back, and of course he doesn't fucking kill him. You know, they're just trying to make me give a shit about these characters that they don't give a shit about, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, the big final fight scene where I fucking Sheila Biff fucking fights Patrick Dempsey, of course. Why? I don't, I don't know. Because they have to have a final fucking showdown. And yeah, and Optimus Prime has a final showdown with Sentinel Prime. The two primes are fucking fighting and shit. And, uh, yeah. But then Megatron jumps in. It, it starts shooting at Sentinel Prime for some fucking reason, you know? Sentinel Prime was literally about to fucking kill Optimus Prime until Megatron jumped in, you know? What the hell, are you stupid Megatron? You should have waited a fucking second. Let Sentinel Prime fucking kill Optimus and then jump in and fucking kill Sentinel Prime. But no. No, no. Then Optimus Prime jumps in with one fucking arm. He's able to kill both of the other fucking guys. Like, rips fucking Megatron apart. Just rips his fucking head off. And then, and then shoots fucking Sentinel Prime in the face? He just shot fucking Sentinel Prime in the face? What? I thought Optimus Prime was supposed to be some fucking noble warrior and stuff. He just shoots him in the face. Yeah. What? what? Yeah. Fucking Dark of the Moon does manage to improve on a couple things from the previous Transformers movies, but in general, I don't really fucking like it. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like any of the fucking Transformers movies. You know, and there's a fourth one coming out this fucking year. Just saw a trailer for it during the fucking Super Bowl. And, uh, yeah, maybe there's some, so there's some good, good stuff there, you know. We got fucking Marky Mark's going to be in the movie instead of Sheila Biff. That's good, you know. And, and uh... And fucking Optimus Prime is riding a Dinobot. That's pretty cool. Yeah, but, uh, I don't know. My fucking uh, expectations are pretty much really fucking low. I mean, for this fucking film. Will it be any good? Probably not. Probably not. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. In fact, Michael Bay hey, recently said that, uh, you know, th that this new movie is going to be less silly than the previous fucking Transformers movies, right? Saying that he made the fucking previous Transformers a little bit sillier to be a little bit more accessible to audiences and that this time he was going to be more serious, right? Yeah, that's what he said. And then the headlines went out in entertainment news that fucking Michael Bay apologized for the previous fucking Transformers movie, right? And then fucking Michael Bay came out and basically undid all the good press that that fucking statement made and said, I did not fucking apologize for those other Transformers movies. I did not fucking apologize. Like, because he's such a fucking dickhead. Come on, Michael Bay, just shut the fuck up. I mean, or better yet, why don't you just hand the Transformers movies to somebody else? Somebody who also actually likes the Transformers and appreciates the fucking mythology. You know, somebody who might have watched the cartoon when they were a kid, collected the fucking toys, and knows something or two about it, you know? Yeah, and we, we're going to fucking talk about the cartoon show, the multiple fucking cartoon shows that have been on the air over the fucking years. And we're going to talk about the toys and other fucking shit too, right? But uh, next fucking time, I'm actually going to do like the top five best movies of last year. You know, I know it's a little late. It's already fucking February, right? But, you know, I wanted a chance to see all the movies that everybody was talking about, so... Yeah, next fucking time, the top five best movies of 2013. Or at least movies I like best, you know. Your list might be different than mine, but, uh, yeah. Till then, fucking keep it real. <laughs>